This one's tight. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, boss. I think I'm squeezing a few brain cells. Why? <laughs> well, I have to represent the gangland. <laughs> it's like I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, if I don't do what I'm told, she beats me. <laughs> she grabs out her brass knuckles and puts them on. Really, man? And like punches me in the back and says, get moving a little faster, employee. Really? <laughs> so today we are mowing. Oh, the wind, which is a good thing. I like the wind. Yeah, it's a pretty day Yeah. so far anyway. So the boss is going to mow this first one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go cut up a tree that fell down in the back. I'll show you guys. Yes. Um, just cut it up and drag it off mm -hmm. to the wood line there. But she's going to mow this. And yep. I think we have like 18 to do today. Yeah, quite a few. And our three acre one, but that's all right. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll get it done. Probably not 18, but we'll get it done. Right. Close okay. to. So. so that's the one the boss is going to mow. And I'm going to go back there and cut up that tree right there and drag it into the woods. But let's get this. So the boss is mowing that. And look, this is one pass, guys, and it's pretty long. So it cuts pretty nice. That's how long it was. But she'll cut it twice. So I'm gonna clear this tree out. The boss is mowing, you see. I'm not gonna record it because I don't have enough room on my phone. I gotta delete some stuff. But uh, we're using the M50 still. Nice little saw. I'd like something with a little more power because it's kind of slower. But let me get this done. There you go, guys. I cut that up, put it all in the woods while the boss is mowing. And I got that done in, I think, 10 minutes. So we'll charge them like 50 bucks. That's the extra things you guys can do on a property instead of them calling a tree service. And yeah, a tree company probably would have charged them a couple hundred bucks to come out there and move that. But they're our clients and we do the mowing here, so. And it only took me 10 minutes. Look at the boss laying some nice stripes. I love this yard. That's the first cut, guys. First cut. That's what it looks like. I shall go over it again my diagonal. Let me get mine about the back. So there you guys go, number one done for the day. And the reason I wear a shirt under my hat is I don't feel like putting sunscreen on today, um, especially on my neck. And then when I go under trees and stuff, it would better to protect me from my neck. So there you go, number, when I go out of the sun, it messes it all up. So there's number one done for the day. And now we're going to do our big one, which is the hardest one of the day, but what are you gonna do? You're bright over there today. You can't wear orange no more, boss. I'm banning orange from my car. I like orange. It's too bright. You reflect all it's the sun. It's actually a really faded shirt. Yeah, I know. We gotta get new shirts going, man. I know. Come on, Steve. My brother. Yeah, we, we as long you. as as long as we have them before GIE, which is in <laughs> October, right? I don't even know if he watches us, but <laughs> so. Well, we're at number two. This is the hardest one for the day. Um, a lot of weed eating, mowing. You guys have seen it. You guys have seen every lawn, haven't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, I think so. So, I try to get different angles on the lawn. But this one, we're just going to mow. I'll show you an after. Maybe I'll catch the boss doing something she shouldn't be doing on the mower, like going 100 miles an hour mowing. That last yard, guys, I cut up the tree you've seen. And I thought the boss went one pass. And she's already halfway down the yard, so I went to mow the back. Which I should have let her mow the, yeah. the back in the gate because I had the weed eat still and she was waiting around. That's all right. I just did a little bit of office work. I do get really behind in office work, so I completely understand. Um, I can I can completely understand how you guys that are solo and doing everything yourself um, can get behind. I'm telling you, look into a software. If it's not Jobber, then something else. Yeah, they have a bunch of um, other programs out there. Or you but, do what the boss just did and you silence your phone when somebody tries to call. No, well, it was your daughter. Oh. But, um, you know, we have used Yardbook and now we switch to Jobber. Yes, we do pay for Jobber, but we are also going to be GI, um, 
jobber GIE guest. So yes. road to GIE, baby. And we, before they even approached us with all that, we were looking into a program anyway. We were mm -hmm. looking into them last year at the GIE and yeah. just to make things a little bit easier. So we do have um, not the lowest one because that's for one user. Um, we have the next step up. So it's because the wife's balling. Yeah, but it's a good program. And once we completely get our schedule in there and under control, then I think it's just going to make invoicing and, you know, keeping up on all that stuff. Rachel's on mower duty. Yes. I'm going to go clip back this burning bush over here because we have smaller, uh, we have less to mow. So we're going to keep the price the same and just prune bushes here and there. Oh, are there any fig? This is a big fig tree, Rach. Oh yeah, I see figs. See them, guys? But I'm gonna cut this burning bush back right here to kind of the size of that one over there. Yeah, I know. That one's got, that's a big fig tree. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. figs, they're so cute. Really? They are, look. Does you, anybody grow figs? You have to eat them at the right time, I think. Yeah, so if these are brown turkey figs, which I think that they are, you have to wait until they're like, they would droop when they're ripe. Is that what they make fig newtons with? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's go. Guys, I forgot to tell you, this bush I'm pruning is a burning bush. And normally I wouldn't cut them back that much, but she had cut them back last week, uh, the homeowner. So we're going to match this side to that side and they do grow back you can see them growing right there so we get this gone the boss is over there mowing and then we'll be uh finishing oh, rachel's blowing off we finished this one here she mowed almost all of it almost all the three acres actually she did mow all the three <laughs> i just did the strip along the fence there as a curb and i pruned the burning bush here and this one up here so each time we come we do a couple uh bushes to get them under control so it's right on the other side of that um right on the other side of them burning bushes it goes all the way down to that big oak tree you see all the way down there and then it comes back all this over here and everything inside the fence and then of course all the way down along the roadway there so it's a lot more weed eating than anything and here's that other burning bush that i pruned so i'm going back and forth so not that bad see this is the other burning bush that i pruned back almost to match that one look the boss is over there don't work boss i asked them a question earlier oh why do they call it the blue ridge mountains Oh, I know why. Why? Do you guys know why it's called the Blue Ridge Mountains? Just stay tuned to find out the answer. The boss knows, so she'll tell you. And the boss, I don't... She's just picking up the phone again, taking on more work or doing more estimates. thought we were done. I thought you told me to open my phones again. I thought I was retiring early. <laughs> That's funny. So we're at number three and four. Mm -hmm. It's about 130, 120 now. These two are really easy. Yes. We did the hardest ones of the day, I think. Hopefully. Hey, yes. Tell Johnny Moe we're almost caught up on mowing. Oh, Johnny Moe, we're almost caught up on mowing. So, you need to get yourself a standard, Johnny Moe. Yeah, one of them Z3Xs. <laughs> we watch you whenever you put your videos up. I really enjoy watching him. He's got good information. So it's this one here and this one there. They're not that bad. So no. the boss mows this one. She could mow both, but she has to do weeds in that one over there. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we'll get it done and I'll show you in the after. So we're finished this one, and that one. Number five done, off to number six. Oh man, I can't get the effect. Don't try to tell them that we're Rachel, mowing this lawn. We finished number six and you left it like that? <laughs> I mean, really? Guys, I don't know if you can see out there. 
Look, the boss just finished that and said that's acceptable. He's full of it. That is not our property. It looks like it was Hayde. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you gotta do a better job next time. <laughs> I know the beast can cut look better than that. All right, come on, buddy. Let's get to work. Stop joking with YouTube. <laughs> you heard that, guys. The boss said I better get to work. <laughs> well, the next one after this is the fun one. Yeah. You fun. You get to have fun. Fun. I'm running away when the client comes out. Really? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna be back at the truck waiting for you. So I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after the first pass. I did a little bit here, but I'll get you a recording after I'm done the first pass on this lawn. Obviously, you see how long it is. It's pretty high, so it's gonna take a few passes, two, to get this done. I, there ain't a mower out there that's gonna cut this in one pass and make it look perfect, but that's the pass, first pass on Rachel's. It, that is acceptable. There's still some grass on the ground. I mean, that's why we do a second pass. I'll go diagonal up and down. Rachel's back here. Her first pass with the Z3X. And this is her first pass with the Z3X. And there is grass on the ground. I'm not going to lie, but it's not fluffy or anything. By no means you could get away with leaving it like that. But we will she's gonna do another pass on that and then I'll get it after. So there you guys go. That's two passes with the Z3. Not much grass left and it was pretty long guys. And look, these are the fence armor posts. We probably weeded at this property about 32 times and they're still holding out pretty well. Good product, good product. And then up here, there's a little bit of grass left on this one with two passes, but that's the uh, walk behind the FW35 doesn't have the ICD deck, so it doesn't cut as good as the other one, but it's still good. So I just wanted to show you on this too. Somebody had asked what kind of shoot blocker we have. This is um, trimmer trap. All it is is this piece here with a bracket, and then this thing, very simple. And the reason why I like this one over the automatic ones is, look, I can have my chute go any way I want, any position, and it stays there. So if you want it down like this, you want it closed all the way, either way. The only thing is, if you guys install this, I cut this off, it's supposed to bend around. You heat it up and bend it around so it covers this slot. Because what happens if you don't do this, grass will shoot out the side. So, it's for anybody who wanted to know. You all right, boss? Yeah, I'm sleeping. You're sleeping? <laughs> so we are at number seven and it's five o'clock almost. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna, we're not gonna record this one at all. So boss, we only have two more. Maybe. And we only did nine for the day. I would really like to get to that one up on the mountain. Yeah, probably not going to happen. We're going to have to do that first thing in the morning. All right. No? Okay. I'm not going to show you this one. I'm eating. <laughs> He's eating some goldfish. Goldfish pretzels. That's all the boss feeds me for the day. Oh, by the way, why are the Blue Ridge Mountains called the Blue Ridge Mountains? Oh. The Blue Ridge Mountains are called the Blue Ridge Mountains because they are the only mountains that have a blue tinge, tinge to, them. to them. So I guess it's because of all the cypress the or... The foliage, I yeah. guess. The, probably the evergreens or... Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that's what, what they're called, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Three blocks. Do you guys have any properties like this where you have to back up around blind curves. So when somebody comes and you see them, you gotta stop and go forward. And Can you see? Over. There's no turnaround down this road. Yeah, I was trying to show you guys, but. So um, we, we've had this client for a really long time. And when we had the open trailer, <laughs> um, we used to go all the way down to the end and turn around well a couple times Carl ended up putting a dent in the, holes side, in the side yeah of the truck. holes in the side of the truck because it's just such a tight squeeze that the trailer would hit the truck 
so then of course last year when we got um the new truck he started you know backing down with the i'm gonna tell you a little secret guys i took out three mailboxes one time what Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. I had to fix all the mailboxes and put them back in the At the end of this road where the turnaround was, he ended up like I don't know, backed up and we had to like fix he had to redig to put the post back in and we had to reset rocks. It was crazy. <laughs> um, but we did fix it. You guys don't leave stuff like that, right? If you <laughs> if you Only accident. if the client doesn't if the client doesn't see you rock. Really? That is advice. not that no. Way you can just say it with somebody else. No, that no, is I'm not. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You want to fix it as as soon as you can. Yes. So that they don't get upset. Oh, it's not even that long. Maybe he mowed it. No, he did not mow it. Well, so this is the client that we actually weren't sure that we were getting back. Um and then he ended We do it cheap too. Yeah. It should be a fifty dollar account. Probably, but we do it 35 I've had it for seven years eight years now mm -hmm. nice guy I mean it's really quick it's yeah it's just small and easy I make the money but for as difficult as the train this is yeah that be. and the backing up yeah I mean like our it takes time yeah it does take time so but, but whatever he did say charge him whatever we want yeah Send us a check. and and he does fertilizer and yeah. stuff too so Okay. I think this is the last one, right, boss? Yeah, let's get to work. Look, guys, if you ever want Thanksgiving dinner, the boss said you can come over here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six turkeys. They're always around here. He collects their feathers. Yeah. Okay, enough of the gobble gobble. There's no males, it doesn't look like, though. So I'm not going to get attacked. All females? All females. That's no? Yeah, they got our kids got where'd our kids go? Our kids are swimming. Somebody came and got them. Yeah. So they're lucky kids, man. Yeah, I gotta work until what, eight oh three at night? <laughs> oh, if you guys watch to the end of the video here, Sorry. um do you guys have any and the ones that do long hair, do you guys have any um clients you mow for where the neighbors think they own the entire street? <laughs> that if you park your car on the pavement and not on their grass, that magically your car is gonna leak into their grass and kill it. <laughs> I mean, because it seems like a it seems like a contagion around. Yeah. Like parking on the street is illegal. You know my you know my suggestion for that? I want them to come out and say something to me. I'm gonna be nice. I'm going to be really nice. I'm going to be like, sir, if you really have a problem with me parking on the street, you have a phone. It has 911 on it. Just call it and we'll see what they say. Because by the time they get here, I'll be done and gone and they'll think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be in trouble. I'm glad I can make the boss laugh. So thanks. I hope for you guys think that he's as, as amusing as I think he is. Do you guys think I'm amusing sometimes? <laughs> Do I need to be a little more louder and... Um, oh, what are you letting assertive? What, what are you letting your parody go to your head? No, no, I'm soft spoken. I'm a really soft spoken guy. We're just calm and happy. <laughs> I mean, I, listen, life is too short. That's my motto. But <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have, Have a, good a good night. night. And no, I'm not shaving my head. Why not, man? <laughs> because... We got 10 likes on the last video. You have no, to shave your head. No, I'm not shaving my head. Not funny. All right. Good night.